This has no feeling. This is the result of infected material. It's basically very solid like, a bit like um, Blue Tech. Hi everyone, I'm Lynn from Cavi Central Guinea Pig Rescue. Hi everyone, this is a guinea pig called Smiggle. Smiggle is super, super cute. But Smiggle has a little problem, and this is why it's a good idea to actually check your guinea pigs out and really know them very well. Now, in this instance, Smiggle has started being a little bit upset with his buddy, and they were trying to work out why, after so many years, there's problems going on. But when I started to check out Smiggle by feeling him all over and becoming familiar with what's going on, around here, right on his lower bottom area near the scent gland in fact virtually on the scent gland is a sebaceous cyst which is developing so it's right here it's a very large bump it's not as large as some that we've dealt with but it is sore now his body also has an issue with the tumor so we'll talk about behaviors a little bit differently in a separate video but for right now we're going to treat this little sebaceous cyst for smiggle so he's feeling a whole lot better so First thing we're going to do is shave it so we can get a better look at what's going on. So let's do that. It's quite greasy around here as well because of the scent gland. Now, I've heard people in the past that talk about a scent gland and you simply need to squeeze it. I actually wonder if these people inadvertently knew or didn't know that there was an infection that had actually occurred there because if you squeeze that, it's going to be really painful and certainly Smiggle would not like that at all. So what we're going to do is firstly make it cold so that we can then take a closer look at closer look at it. Now, it's directly above his his uh, little boy sacs area here, so we need to be very careful. It is very tiny, but it's also very sensitive in that area. We need to be careful with what we're doing. Let's just clip this hair back. I just want a really neat margin around so that after, nothing can get caught in that area. Good boy, Smiggle. All right, what we're going to do now is make that very cold. Now, this is called cryothermic um, anaesthetism, which basically makes the skin completely numb to any sensation. And with this little bump, the contents of this does not actually have sensation. So what we're actually doing is making the whole thing numb. It actually goes quite extensively in that area. We're just going to make it super, super cold. Sorry, Smiggle's not going to like the cold feeling there at first. I know, it's very cold. It is cold. Cold on there, but it's going to make it very numb. Good. Okay. There you go, Smiggle. And we've got his head right down the other way, so we don't need to be worried about breathing that in at all. Now... Let's just feel that that is freezing cold, which it is. And what we're going to do, he's actually already trying to bite it. You can see these little nibble marks at the front, the top section. I'm just going to lance that very quickly and we're going to remove those contents. Now with the contents in this area, it is going to continue to develop and grow. And as you've seen in some other videos, we, we get to see these in enormous sizes so it's best that we deal with this right now so it doesn't continue to develop so in treating it while it's small it's less invasive it's easy easy to treat and uh, we're going to take care of that so I'm just going to position Smiggle so that he's quite safe here on the table because I don't want him to slip off that way at all let's try wrapping him because he Okay, let's try just, it's all pus and gunge that's there. That's it, so that we can have that 
come out and away. Sorry, Smiggle. No, it'll all just come out very easily. The reason you need to do this slowly is that we're trying to leave as small a mark in the skin as possible in having the contents come away. Of course, he doesn't like me pressing down there because it is his bottom, but it's not, not hurting him. I know. They, they have a very sensitive area down there. But for what this is in removing the contents, it's a very quick and easy way to do this. There we go. So that Smiggle can start feeling okay once again. Hi, Smiggle. Hello. You all right? Hello. Let's put you back there for a minute. Wait a minute. Let's reposition you. Good boy. And this is one of the things that's bothering Smick because it is sore back there and it is growing and he can't do anything about it. So we're just going to fix that for him. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's in a very indiscreet area. Smiggle, it really is. Sorry, little fella. There. There's still a bit more. It's really important that you get right at the bottom of that infected area. Which, sorry, he just gave me a nip on my arm, which he meant to give me. <laughs> There we go. Smiggle. Smiggle. Smiggle, sweetheart. Okay, let's have a look. Smiggle. Let's see. That's looking really good. All we're going to do is flush that now in the usual way with some Debrazole. Good. We're going to flush that and that's it. We're going to let it recover fully. So there's some little, you can see these little hairs that are loose. Smiggle, smiggle. Yay. No. Mm -mm. There. I just want to make sure this little loose hair that's there is in fact completely not going to get caught in the process of this area recovering. So let's flush that out now. We are back with Smiggle and we're going to flush this area. Let me just put, maybe we'll just pop one little piece of cloth underneath. You can see the area is not bleeding. It's had a tiny little patch of blood showing. We're just going to flush that very quickly for Smiggle so that it remains Clean and clear. Good boy. Yummy. <laughs> Smiggle, you really do want to knit me there, but maybe we'll just put that cloth so you can't knit me. I'll just do this quickly for you. So we literally just flush that and it removes any content there. I'm just going to do it again. Just flushing a couple of times. Good boy. That's it. Good boy. Oh, good boy. Still a little, little tiny speckle of white keratinous material has come away. And that's it. That is so easily fixed. And you can see now, this is not going to turn into some of the en enormous large ones that we have that we deal with. So it's better to deal with it at this point and to deal with it using something that can make it pain-free. Very quick and effective, but you need to flush it carefully and cleanly now to finish i'm actually going to pop on there an antibiotic spray which will give him a nice little patch of blue okay so what we're going to use here is a pink eye powder spray which is a teramycin antibiotic and it's actually blue <laughs> so interestingly enough but it's referred to as pink eye powder spray
But we just literally spray that on. It is going to color his bottom blue. That's perfectly fine. And this will heal. We'll check in with Sniggle again and we'll update you. Okay, so let's take a look at what came out. And you can see it's relatively small, but in terms of how it appears, again, this is uh, infected, the result of infected material. It's basically very solid-like, a bit like um, blue tech uh, in consistency. And in this case, we've been able to help Smiggle easily. Smiggle, would you like some capsicum? You've been a good boy. Would you like this? <gasps> would you like this? You would? Oh, fantastic. Good boy, Smiggle. <laughs> That yummy smiggle you're gonna feel so much better i know we can fix that for you come around and see everyone and you can say you can ask everyone have they liked and subscribed yet because if they haven't they're going to miss out on lots of fantastic information that we have to share isn't that right okay so go on press that subscribe button and we will see you more i think you turn your notifications on too then you'll know when we have new videos which is pretty much all the time. And I also love hearing from you down below. So take care, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Bye from Smiggle. Bye from me.